three and four. Like, there we go. And we get a Palutena Ditto to wash Yay. out. So we get, we go from what? A Sonic Game & Watch to a Palutena Ditto. Take it, man. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Um, but yeah, let's get started on here. PS2, two Palutenas. That's what the, the P stands for, I guess. Palutena, there's two of them. And starting off with the sequence, and here's the thing, never take Palutena to the stage. It's so good for them. Never take Donkey Kong players to the stage. They're just like, they're just like, yeah, you guys wanna, wanna start on PS2 and they play Donkey Kong. It's like, what's wrong with Donkey Kong versus Palutena. <laughs> yeah. Then it's just like, what is wrong with you as well? But both these players starting off strong with their strong mobility mm. as well as their ails in the Ditto uh -oh. matchup and great what? usage of it. Heaven's Ooh. light directly to the skies. Marvel with a huge lead to work with and continue it on forward. That dash backward costing will could have continued the sequence, but that town here was inches away from landing. But Marvel, what a statement already, Jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I talked about it before that Mateo was kind of a more neutral based player, playing a lot more defensively than Marvel, who's kind of just been holding forward and uh, applying all this pressure, which has been helping him out a lot, getting this lead and potentially get the stock. But I think Mateo needs to be a little bit more, uh, you know, aggressive compared to, to Marvel. Kind of fight fire with fire, but at, at this, you know, at this stage where you're kind of down to stock, I think playing defensive is the right solution. But Marvel has been, you know, Calling out the right moves, pulling out all the stops against Mateo. Oh, the up tilt actually shield poking too to get that stock. So, I mean, stock taken from Mateo, but 114%. You gotta be careful. Uh -oh. And when you're not careful, stuff like that can happen. Good up air from Marvel to punish that. And what a stock lead from Marvel. What a statement he's made. Yeah, it was a great attempt trying to run away with that Ooh. great reverse snare as well. Ooh, oh, drag down. Hello. Great stuff. I love that little sequence. Yeah, you gotta love it. Ooh, good up airs right there. Just getting a lot of damage unanswered by Marvel right now. That's the thing. When you're playing, you know, a lot more aggressive with Polo 10, especially in the Ditto, it's just helping out Mateo more than he is, you know, trying to play neutral, trying to catch out a bunch of Marvel's uh, options. And granted, these guys know the character very, very well, right? So it's even better when you're trying to, you know, play the advantage right now. Very, very close game. Yeah, real close, and a stock can be taken in instant, but Palutena with Rage can do quite a lot. Both of them spin and nares directly in the skies, and great usage of the Reflector actually like that, and buffering the options so the ledge trump won't happen. Real good awareness by Marvel, knowing that Mateo could potentially go for any option. Close to that one. Both of them respecting the footsies, but a little bit of chip damage going in the favor. Dash attack, actually so good. The bear as well. Ooh. Wow, huge mistake thinking it was the oh. angle and the air dodge gets clipped out. Ooh. What an excellent execution by Marvel. Yeah, and again, Mateo's kind of jumping a lot. And I think that's just a problem between, you know, a lot like, it, that we've seen a lot is just that people jumping too much and kind of just trying to approach with that, getting punished immediately and losing stocks, even taking a lot of percentages from that. So uh, we, we saw that, of course, Marvel against Jackal. And now we're seeing Mateo against Marvel. So I think Mateo's just got to, you know, when you're, when you're kind of putting your foot, you know, down on the pedal, you got to gotta make sure that you know it, it, it's down there and it's being floored right now yep pedal to the metal exactly what's gonna have to happen that's the one uh, yep got you i got you covered. thank you thank you <laughs> you, sound, you sound like sound like michael scott like trying to sound out like a phrase you know, you're like, <laughs> when it's you gotta put your foot down on the pedal pedal to the pedal to the bottom of the car <laughs> floor it yeah <laughs> what it's called but now both of them are exchanging out blows left and right kind of the ex obvious thing we're seeing both of them just gonna kind of push mm. in the neutral and as well as avoiding out Ooh. that back air but can with the second one still clinging onto life excellent time to air dodge yeah and again that really does come down to just knowing this character so well because you main this character or at least you play this character often and very well oh again heaven's light sending him straight to heaven uh and back Action wow. forward air gonna send uh Marvel back so again really really even but these nair strings are gonna be so important to deal all that damage and really put their opponents and uh, put each other really into disadvantage yeah real good things and that is an execution error not the biggest punish so thankfully didn't take too much but as this game continues to 
kind of spell out what a ditto should be. It should be a 50-50. It should be even, and it's relying on the player's fundamentals and understanding of the character as well as utilizing the stage, because in these things, you know, stages, stage selection becomes one of preference and what you want to do and how your play style is going to go. And I mean, Mateo showing up exactly what's going to happen. Like you said, different of play style and Mateo's is kind of outpacing Marvel, having to jump away and try to use that side B. It's so plus when it lands correctly and Marvel utilizing that in order to get themselves out of a sticky situation, able to lend out their miss tech by Mateo. That's going to lead to a good amount of damage, but Marvel Having to get it out of there as Mateo could go ahead and lend that clean hit in. Yeah, oh, speaking of clean hit, that backer finally uh, finishing up that stock. And Mateo, again, change of change of play style, kind of playing a lot more aggressively compared to before where he was trying to play cool, calm, and collected. Right now, he's collecting a lot of damage right now as Marvel needs to pay up and potentially lose his stock for it because Mateo has been on quite the roll and it's snowballing right now. Mm-hmm. Real good stuff on there and trying to land that two frame with the down mm. tilt instead. Gonna land the grab. Marvel on the back foot for almost this entire match as Mateo has just been able to outperform, outpace, and outmatch. Both of them in the struggle and a forward smash. You ain't Jackal. You can't do that. Oh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> because we saw earlier, of course, when Marvel was playing against. Uh, Jackal that again a lot of really really good reads from him and Mateo's doing the same really against uh, Marvel just trying to read out you know the approaches the landing options of course Marvel trying to connect that up air which will which will definitely kill the explosive light not gonna kill Ooh. with that back air connecting somehow Mateo trying to find the stock as soon as possible oh wow, wow even that. Even not, waited. Only, not only did he read the neutral get up he read <laughs> he read spot the spot dodge. Absolutely crazy stuff. And that's the thing. I think Mateo definitely has more experience with this character compared to Marvel. And I think just general experience, exposure with a certain character kind of helps you get used to, you know, how they move, how they function. And that's really just how Marcus has been doing so good. Not only changing up the play style, but also just being so clinical with the reads and getting these hits off. Yeah, I mean, so many things have been just stacking up, and honestly, in this matchup, especially from how Palutena, like, functions, it's so difficult to stop when the momentum goes forward, and Town and City will be the stage of pick. Both of them already kind of searching for the win condition, and ah, that's not safe. Enjoy an air. Into up air, 47%. Very crucial if you're Marvel right now, and we were talking about it before, you know, game advantages, being able to get your, um, you know, counter picks off. We're seeing that happen right now as Marvel is just benefiting so much off of town and city. Oh boy, that's exactly it. We just need to kind of continue on that one forward and a double dash tech. It's so good at catching any of these landing aerials that characters go for and Palutena inclu included. You know, like I said, you ain't Jack. We can't go for those raw forward Ooh. smashes. Sonics is just too crazy to work with as Marvel continuing out on there. Could have potential to shut out the stock, but that platform apply a little bit of utility. Up smash in the wrong direction will be able to make it so that Mateo get themselves out. And that's a crucial mistake. The swing barely missing. We'll have to see where it can go on there. And it leads to Marvel getting the lead. How long can you hold on to it for? Ooh. Wow, that movement was hot as hell. Tata is that explosive flame, and right now 28% dealt immediately. A little bit of bleeding from Mateo right there, but nothing that can't be bandaged up. But I mean, if the damage is enough, there's just some wounds you can't heal. And right now, Mateo hurting a little bit with 54% dealt onto his second stock. And I mean, again, Marvel, both these characters really, uh, both these guys really just reading out their opponents' uh, recoveries with those back airs, of course. A, a move that you see a lot of Politanus fish because. I mean, that shield, it can block a lot of moves, and it's not going to block that grab, though, as Mateo finally finds that stock. Oh, yeah. The stock has been found, and as well as Marvel trying to continue this lead oh! forward. Yeah, these platforms apply utility, continuing combos, continuing pressure with Sharky, and as well as both of them have access to teleport canceling. Tries to go for a turnaround grab in there, and speaking of teleport canceling, I'm gonna see exactly where it comes out on there and utilizing oh. the last one as the platform is coming off the patience i love how marvel's flexing out all these things it can potentially do with palo yes. and red the jump a crucial stock taken only 48 now all mateo needs to do is you just can't 
get comboed. You can't find... You can't get Nair. That's literally it. You can't get yeah, comboed exactly. because Marvel will take that lead and take it home. But instead, Mateo, great stuff on nice. their charge again on their Marvel. Good on the ledge cancels, but at the same time, that can be quite predictable if you keep on doing that. And Marvel, great patience on there. Avoids out these options as Mateo quick on the chase, trying to get something down. Nice. Finally gets, you know, that, that lasting hit of the, um, the Nair. And again, it really is just trying to bait out Marvel to, to make a really bad mistake. Because both these guys have been fishing for that backer all the ledge, right? Did you see that crouch? Very, the crouch to let the aerial go right above. Maybe I'm looking too far deep into it. Maybe I'm a One Piece fan looking at a rock that's in a slightly different position in the live action saying, here's my theory. We could be all of them, but instead it's going to be Marvel continuing on forward, tries to sniff out that cancel, that forward smash. It's going to land someday, Jellyfish. It's going to land someday, and it's going to be a beautiful day. Absolutely. I mean, even though we can you know, think of these theoreticals with that crouch and that back air being an absolute sir, what we are certain about is that Marvel is in a very, very good position to win. But that's the thing. Even though, you know, you have this lead, it then becomes, you know, a very stressful situation of, okay, can I finish off the stock? And I mean, especially with Palutena, who has all these different options, of course, back air, even explosive light. Uh, to finish out these, you know, these stocks. It's whether or not you can or cannot, and Mateo doing so well, finally getting that confirmed that he's been looking for that little combo, kind of just to bring it back. Marvel with the advantage, but it's it's dwindling right now if you can't find it. You can't find this kill. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh wow. No. They both literally turned around and... Oh! Nice. nice and that's backer. the best of three. That's... You keep saying that. Like, you're not going to pay money afterwards. Tio's... <laughs> Find their bank account. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, really, really good stuff from Marvel right there. I think that platform movement, and that's why he chose Town yeah, and City, so nice. why he chose, uh, you know, PS2. That movement really helped him kind of fake out Mateo. Um, and that really, you know, set the tone, really. I didn't know that uh, both uh, <laughs> Marvel and Mateo played Wow, Sonic I needed and... this sleep aid, huh? <laughs> Ah, there we go. Another yeah. sleep aid. But, yeah, go on. Again, yeah, no, that movement, those plat those teleport cancels, being able to catch out those jumps from the uh, ledge, those reads really helped out Marvel. Kind of fake out Mateo in a lot of, you know, different situations. And again, respect for a lot of the moves that are being thrown out, like Nair, even up air and all that stuff. You know, not pressing a button randomly and wasting their utility. That really helped out Marvel. Yeah, it was looking real good as well. But in this ditto, the fact that Marvel, when they got the lead, it just looked so good. But when Mateo was just really out of the neutral, it looked hopeless for Marvel. But the lead at the start, we all knew where this game was going to go. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that was so good. Yeah, that was so clean, man. Like, that's the thing with Polyten is that it, it tends to be a lot of clean gameplay and a lot of clean movement as well. But both players, can I talk about this back here? So oh, yeah. good. Bro just got that out immediately. Like, literally just pulled the trigger and it was just one shot, one kill right there with that back air. And again, it's such a good move because of that shield, like I talked about before, that it can cancel out a lot of the only projectiles. But even just clank with a lot of moves, it has a lot of priority.